Hello my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Kamaria and it's uh, time November. <laughs> Maybe close. I did this super later than I normally would have because I was having trouble with my creativity and I just was like, what am I going to do? And then I was like, I made a gratitude journal, but it has like way more pages in it than I probably need so i was like you know what i'll make my gratitude journal my november you know planning journal too because i plan to pro probably combine um the gratitude journal challenge that uh jovi is doing i think it's an open collaboration it's like a weekly thing she's doing every monday in november i think she has co-hosts i don't remember who they are but I will link her channel <laughs> so you guys can go check that out. So I, instead of having like two different, you know, notebooks, I thought I'd just put them in one just to save myself the headache. And I thought November, you know, is Thanksgiving. You know, it's cozy. You think of family and you also, I think of food. So I actually had a lot of like Bon Appetit magazines that were like holiday issues from last year. So I have some November and December magazines and it had all of these uh, recipes and pick lots of food porn. <laughs> um, just delicious food that I could never make in a thousand years, but it looks delicious. And then I also had like a home ec cookbook from like the 70s. So I took out just some of the... Um, obviously thanksgiving ish recipe pages just to have like a nice decorative element and then i had these seasonal wrong seasonal um wrong wrong stickers that i got at a discount store for two dollars so i use some of those and then i'll probably come back and decorate this cover page a little more because i forgot that i got a whole bunch of transparent stickers as well from one of my friends so i was like okay yeah this is kind of plain let's jazz it up let's jazz her up and my husband actually got me some new markers because my daughters keep stealing all my stuff. <laughs> They'll probably end up stealing these too, but at least I'll get a couple of uses out of them. <laughs> I, I'm happy that my children uh, like art. So I should be happy that they craft with me and stuff. And then I'm doing uh, just a vertical calendar instead of having a vertical calendar and a uh like visual calendar like the whole thing drawn out one i was just not using it as much as i thought and two i'm just too lazy and i could break out my number stamps right now but i'm not gonna because i'm lazy and i was actually doing this at my kitchen counter while my daughter was eating breakfast because sometimes I just don't have time to get out all my stuff. And I just have to deal with my own um, crappy handwriting. <laughs> like, it just is what it is. Sometimes, you know, you just need to get it done so you can be functional and not really worry about how pretty it is. And that's also why I utilized stickers a lot this time. Because I can just plop them down and it's pretty enough. Pretty enough is good for me. And then I realized that I put the numbers first and not the days of the week first. So that sucks. But here we are. I guess it doesn't matter if it's on the left or right. But I prefer to have it like, okay, it's Monday the 30th, not 30th of Monday. Like this, that makes any sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. But my brain. <laughs> but I'll just have to deal with it because I forgot to write the days of the week first. And then I'm highlighting just the weekend so I know where the new week starts. And I know that the 30th is technically October, but I like to keep my weeks together and I like to start on a Monday because my daughter goes to school on Monday, you know, the new school week starts on a Monday and it just makes the most sense to have a Monday start for me. And then I can keep my weekend on the same page and all that. I don't understand how people do a Sunday start because it's like the weekend but 
to each their own. And this is when I realized, oh, hey, I have all these transparent stickers that I can layer on top of these and it won't be uh, too bulky or anything. So here I am decorating a little bit just to jazz her up because I had a lot of empty space and it would have been fine. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna like <laughs> shame myself, but I definitely do like the uh, convenience of just being able to stick down stickers to add a little pizzazz. Pizzazz. And so I'm trying to go with like warm colors, lots of oranges, browns to try to stay in that cozy feeling. <laughs> um, and then some of those wrong wrong stickers that I had had like thankful and togetherness and you know all those happy feelings. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else gets stressed out at holidays and I'm trying not to. My family have cut my we're all kind of a little spread out like my mom lives right by me but my sister and my niece they live kind of an hour away and my in-laws live right down the street from me my brother-in-law i should say and then my husband's parents live in south carolina you know and that's like the matriarch of the family who would like cook the turkey and everything and this year we've had a lot of like family stuff and we're just like you know what thanksgiving is canceled like not like the togetherness part like we're all still going to come together and hang out but we all kind of decided you know what we're going to hang out low stress we're just going to order some chinese food put on charlie brown thanksgiving and call it a day because sometimes i feel like you can get so bogged down with all the details and having to host people and you know keep up with societal pressure of what you're supposed to do you're supposed to buy a turkey you're supposed to have all the fixins and the cranberry sauce and all this stuff and you're supposed to have a million and one people over and decorate and have like sit down dinner and it's like no let you know let's kind of you know strip it back and just hang out as a family have somebody else cook for us and not worry about it and like none of us even like turkey so I'm like, why bother? You know, my kids are in their picky phase where they only all they want to eat is chicken nuggets. And <laughs> it just seems like such a waste when the point of it all is to just be with your family. And not to like disparage people from doing that. If that's what you want to do, girl, by all means, cook the turkey and the stuffing and all that stuff. But um, this year, we ain't about it. We want low stress. We just want to hang out, have some Chinese food, and, and that's it. But I can still, like, make my, uh, my, my weekly spreads with all the traditional <laughs> Thanksgiving foods that you, most people <laughs> would have at Thanksgiving. I mean, I still might buy a pie because I like pie. But... <laughs> I digress. Uh, so this is week one. Are we in week one? I wasn't, girl. I was just talking and I wasn't even paying attention to what I was doing. So I think we're do in week one. We're going to say yes. Um, uh, these are like pecan cookies and they look delicious. I have a little pumpkin pie recipe on the, on the corners there. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, stickers. And like I said, I could have brought out my stamps but I, I girl I don't wanna <laughs> you know so sometimes it's nice to have all the extra stuff but if 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 you're not feeling it you're not feeling it and I don't I mean I like sharing my process with you guys and I think you guys like it too but I'm I don't make my journal for other people you know, so if I was like super concerned with how, oh, look at me, I messed up. Ha, I fix it later. Don't worry. I wrote 31 instead of 30. <laughs> um, but I don't, yeah, I don't make my journal for other people. And I think sometimes when you share your stuff on the internet, on social media, 
you can get very bogged down by aesthetics and even in the junk journal community i've seen it where you know there definitely are people who do all the frou-frou and i like watching those videos adding all the the bangles and the lace and all of these beautiful things but i am not a beautiful junk journaler <laughs> like i am a trash mongering i'm gonna rip it apart junk journaler <laughs> so while i can you know appreciate the aesthetic of a beautiful junk journal i am not a beautiful junk journaler i am too messy i'm too chaotic and i have too much anxiety <laughs> so i just you know glue trash and that's okay everybody has their own style and their own approach to junk journaling and I try not to get bogged down or kind of compare myself to other people I just live in my style so that's you know you just have to once you find your style you know to kind of stick to your guns and to not feel pressure to make it pretty if you don't want to make it pretty you know or what i said pretty enough because <laughs> i do like my stuff to look aesthetically pleasing but i don't like go above and beyond because i just don't have the time or the energy we're getting towards the end of the year oh my daughter's a dinosaur <laughs> sorry for the roar um but yeah we're at the end of the year and a lot of my you know creative juices are gone <laughs> Like, you know, in the beginning of the year, you're so excited to like start all your new journals and you're just like refreshed and new year, new me. And, but no, I, end of the year, crusty me. <laughs> like, so I'm trying, I'm trying to get through the, you know, the end. And plus, I mean, I'm starting to get excited for, like, I've already made a couple of my new journals or I have, or I have plans for the new journals and I'm gathering all the materials and everything. Um, but the last couple months of the year, I'm just like running on fumes. <laughs> um, so I did end up doing, um, two weeks here. I left a space, like an empty page. Cause I want to do, um, the gratitude challenge. So I left an empty space there to do whatever the prompt is. And I'm probably going to do like a separate video for that. It's pretty low stress. It's just one challenge a week, so I'm not really um, going to be too stressed about it. I'll just do whatever. Um, I might put the prompts in that video and link to Jovi's channel. Because, you know, you got to support. You got to support your favorite people. <laughs> you know, I, and plus I like doing challenges. They're fun. But yeah, I did leave some space like one empty page to do whatever the prompt is i can't recall <laughs> but you'll see the video after this one <laughs> um but yeah so i'm just doing the same thing kind of picking recipe pictures from magazines like that the one on the left was like a beautiful like tarte tan you know i'm never gonna make a tarte tan but i like i like watching cooking shows and i don't know if anybody else likes the great british baking show or bake off or whatever you call it but like that's my jam i can't bake i've never been able to bake and i'll never be able to bake but <laughs> i love to watch people baking so i know all terms for a whole bunch of baking and stuff but i've ne i will never be able to do it in my life <laughs> but i just like the colors the aquas and the you know oranges i just thought it really was beautiful kind of leaning into that color palette a little bit um so just doing the second week um i haven't really been needing a lot of space lately for planning uh so i just made my boxes little and they're horizontal 
because like I said, I haven't really been using, I've been doing lots of like backward planning. Like I'll do, I'll go throughout my day and then I'll write down all the stuff that I got done. And I know that's kind of counterproductive, but sometimes as a stay at home mom, I really want to be able to see like, oh, I was productive today. <laughs> like I didn't just, you know, sit on my butt. Like, um, but that's her pretty much done like the first two weeks. And then I'll see you in the next one, you guys. Bye.